Very beautiful. I'm not gonna take that away from him. But hey, beauty without discretion is ugly. Now, last week, John and Samantha fell for each other and headed off for a date with romance at the Take Me Out Resort. So was it love me or leave me? Let's find out. I am super excited to see Samantha today. She's gorgeous, and I hope the fun leads to uh, some maybe frisky business, hopefully. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I really hope everything goes great and we just hit it off. Oh, my God! Oh, <laughs> the connection that I have with Sam, it seems pretty real, so we'll see where it leads. Let's stop here. Maybe she'll have some more wine, and you never know. Ah! OK, are you OK? You took it out. You took it out. He got a little touchy-feely. I'm not looking for a one-night stand. I'm looking for a partner in life. Hey. I just want to talk about earlier. It was the first time like hanging out and everything, and you know, it just took me by surprise how forward you are. You know? So you just wanna like, you know, have sex or something, or you wanna no. get to know me. No, 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 no. That, that's not it at all. Is that no. your intention? It, it just like That was okay. all just trying to break the ice and, and oh, have have okay. a good time. And but that, under, that's all you know, it was. we just met and I just want to make sure, you know, you don't just wanna have sex. I kind of felt blindsided with, you know, some of the stuff that she said. She was flirting with me back, and we were all touchy-feely together, and I don't know, it just got really weird. I'm a girl. Like, don't you know how we act? Like, hello, if I have a feeling, it's gonna linger there until I tell you. I was really excited earlier to see John, but I'm not used to a guy coming on to me that strong the first date. But hey, everything happens for a reason, and I'm just not meant for him. He's not meant for me. Oh, well, better luck next time. Okay, our next guy is up in the love lift. He's ready to rock your world. Listen to his music. He chose it just for you. Let the spaghetti see the meatballs. <laughs> Single man, reveal yourself. Absolutely. All right. They're all yours. Ladies, my name is Panos. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. You all look amazing. <laughs> it is not all right. Turn out your light. <laughs> Panos, 22 lights are still on. Let me go and check with the girls. Corey, you're out. Why? Man, not a boy. You're very cute, though. You're just, I want to, like, give you a kiss, not, like, date you. What? <laughs> Katie Ann, you are in. You love what you see. Yes. Tell me why. Well, he's a little guy, but... <laughs> but he's got some swag. He reminds me of JFK, and I want to be Marilyn Monroe. OK, all right. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Panos, round two is coming up. Remember, girls, if you're not turned on, turn on! I spent a long time trying to make myself successful right here on Wall Street. I was a top salesman for a top five financial firm. However, I decided to take my life in a different direction, so I quit my job, and then I moved on to writing children's books. I can't wait to have a beautiful wife and have a big family. Family is everything to me. If you've ever seen my big fat Greek wedding, that's my family. Yes! Yes, Ladies, if you love Greek food, you gotta sample this dish. Opa! You're doing great. No, don't worry, man. 12 lights are on. You're doing great. You just need one light at the end, all right? Cool. Let me go find out what's happening with the girls. Anna, why did you turn your light off? Um, oh my god, as soon as I saw the Wall Street sign, I, like, freaked out. Wait a minute. He quit that job and became a writer of? Author of children's novels. He would give you a happy ending. <laughs> Lisa, you're still in. I love that he, he's an author of children's books. Yes. Yes, I do. 
And what about the family? Do you like the big family? I love the big family. Close to the family. Love Greek food. Let's take a trip to the Mediterranean or something. Guaranteed. <laughs> okay, Panos. If there are any lights on at the end of round three, you definitely got a date. But which girls fancy being in a big, fat Greek relationship? <laughs> Find out when we come back on Take Me Out. Welcome back to Take Me Out. Panos started out trying to woo my 30 girls. 12 are still interested in The good news is, if any lights are on at the end of the third round, Panos has got himself a date. <laughs> girls, if you like what you see, keep your light on. I'm a romantic. I love to take care of a woman. I love to buy her flowers. And I love to even send her a dress to wear to dinner that night. I come from a traditional family. Maybe I'm an old fashioned guy. But I'm just looking for a sweet and easy to please woman that I can just take care of. Oh, you got yourself a date! <laughs> Let's find out what the ladies thought about that. Kelly, why did you turn your light off? I'm like a man eater, and he's just not enough to keep my appetite. Oh! <laughs> Let me, let me say something very simple, all right? I can handle three of you, no problem. Courtney, your light is still on. Yes, he said he likes to take care of me. Who doesn't want that? Prince Charming? Prince Thank Charming, you. Panos! Rasha? Yes. You know, I am a tall girl, but honestly, Panos, a little personality goes a long way with me, and you are so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Panos, six girls have their lights on. Now, you have to pick your favorite two. The power is in your hands. Go and turn off the lights of the girls that don't have a shot at being your Greek goddess and leave just two with their lights on. Oh. Panos! <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Panos is out by Leslie. Jessica C is out. Oh, Kasha is out. Two more to turn up. One more, Panos. Kristen's out. That's very beautiful. You left Courtney and Leslie. Why those two? They're very beautiful girls. I love what they had to say. She's my height, she's not, but I love you both. Okay. <laughs> Now you have to choose which one to take on a date. The girls know a lot about you, but what do you want to know about them? Right. You can ask one question, Panos. Make it a good one. So I love to take care of women, all right? But so now it's my birthday, and I'm coming home from a hard day at work. How do you surprise me? OK, Courtney. That's easy. I've heard a way to a man's heart is food. So I'd cook you dinner, but only in my apron. <laughs> Leslie? That was a good one. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start with a little sprinkled rose petals throughout the floor. Lingerie on, distract you. A little of a massage going at it while the food is cooking. And then I don't know what else will be cooking, but we'll find out. Yeah. Okay, Panos, it's between Courtney in an apron and nothing else, and Leslie in lingerie, rose petals, and wow. something cooking. <laughs> now go turn one off, Panos, and take one out. I don't want to choose. <laughs> I got to go with the height. <laughs> but you're beautiful. Give yeah, it up for Panos and Courtney. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why did you pick her? She's beautiful, she's sweet, and she's also my height. I love that. OK. <laughs> well, you are off to a place that is more romantic than Shangri-La and the Garden of Eden rolled into one. It is where? Take me out, you boy. All right, you crazy kids, go and go your day.
she said that she was gonna cook in the apron, I said, wow, that's pretty much it. I, I think that's amazing. I hope we have a lot of fun on the date, lots of laughs, lots of giggles, and he turns